Today in App Judgment, we're getting things done with Astrid Task. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Verizon Droid Apps. Welcome to App Judgment, Revision 3's mobile phone application review show. My name is Ron Richards, and in my professional life, I'm a huge believer in the getting things done methodology. Never heard of it? Well, go read the book by David Allen and have your world become way more productive. A part of getting things done is having the right tools to use, and a good task manager is a must-have app for any productive person. Astrid Task is a free app in the Android marketplace developed by the folks at Todoru Inc. and could be the task manager app you're looking for. Astrid Task falls into the category of a deceptive application. When you first open it, you don't get any helper indicators of what to do, rather just an empty screen and an entry box at the bottom to enter a task. If you're looking for help, it does actually exist in the app. Just tap Menu, More, then Quick Tips, and you get some tips for getting started. Why this doesn't appear the first time you open the app is beyond me, but regardless. So we're on the main screen, you can enter your task, press the plus button, and your task has been added to your to-do list. See? Easy as that. You'd think this app would be more complex, and well it is. You just have to find it. If you long tap on your task, you get a menu with choices to edit the task, delete the task, or start a timer. Let's edit it first. Tapping Edit Task unveils the magic and detail of Astro Task. This is a getting things done jackpot. Along the top, you've got three tabs, Basic, Dates, and Alerts. In the Basics tab, you can edit the summary of the task, change the importance level of it, add tags to the task, or add a duration for how long the task will take, as well as any additional notes that you might have. Now, most of these are self-explanatory, as they add more data to the task itself, but this data is infinitely useful when you start adding many tasks to your to-do list. Tapping the Dates tab gives you a list of date-related options. You can set an absolute deadline for the task, a goal deadline, and you can add the task to your calendar. There's some interesting options too, like hiding the task until a certain date and making a task repeating by a time frame that you can set. And finally, on the Alert tab, you can set reminders to have your phone alert you periodically and for various reasons, like when a deadline is approaching or when it's arrived. There are a ton of ways to use your phone to remind you when and how to stay on task. With the basics of the app down, how can you make it work for you? More about that after this word about Verizon Droid Apps. Droid does apps. Verizon Droid Apps have access to every tool the phone has, including the compass, GPS, accelerometer, video player, image capture, etc. The power of the Droid Apps allows them to run in the background for multitasking and give background notifications. Verizon's dominant network and 3G coverage create an unparalleled mobile data solution to keep you connected to the web and allow you to run heavy, data-rich features anywhere at any time. And with the ever-expanding Android market, you'll always be able to quickly download the apps you need to get the most out of your Droid. Check out droiddoes.com. Now that we know how to enter and edit tasks, how does Astro Task measure up to some of the major to-do list management needs? The immediate thing I thought of was the basic list structure. I'd run the risk of overloading the app with my tasks, but Astro Task seems to have a system in place for that. Once you've got a ton of tasks loaded into the application, the first tool you want to get used to is the sorting and filters. Tap Menu and then Sort Filters and you get a menu of options. You can filter out tasks to hide or show hidden or blocked tasks as well as completed tasks. Filtering out these tasks will help keep your to-do list clean. Now for sorting. You can set whether or not to sort your tasks by name or by due date and you can reverse sort them so both directions are covered depending on your preference. Personally, I would sort by due date seeing what is due sooner at the top of the list. Now my biggest complaint about Astro Task is the lack of the ability to group your tasks. For example, I have a bunch of tasks that are work related, so I'd want to put them in a work group. Same thing for my tasks to do at home and so on. Well you can do this by utilizing tags. Earlier I mentioned that you can add tags to a task and this is where it comes in handy. Tapping tags from the menu allows you to filter your to-do list and just see tasks that are tagged with a specific tag. Now this isn't a perfect solution as you can only view one tag at a time, but it does allow you to filter your tasks and group them by tags. Astro has a bunch of other options available. For example, if you hit menu, then more, you can access the synchronization settings. If you happen to use the website Remember the Milk to manage your tasks online, you can easily sync this app with your task list on Remember the Milk, which is very cool. You can also export and import tasks easily to XML files, which if you're a power user, you can manipulate for use with other task manager productivity apps. So how does it stack up? Astro Task is a deceptively easy to use app to manage your tasks with a simple yet powerful interface to enter and add details to tasks. With tagging and notifications, you can stay on top of your tasks, and if you use Remember the Milk online, you can easily sync your data. That said, if you're new to a task manager, the help you may need to get started is buried. If you're a power user of task managers and don't use Remember the Milk, you may get frustrated that it's the only option for syncing, and my personal gripe is the lack of task groups. Download this app. 
This is easily the best task manager that I've come across for Android. Even with my minor gripes, AstroTask is a great tool that can help you be productive. Are you using AstroTask? What do you think of it? Email me at appjudgment at revision3.com or you can check us out online on Facebook, Twitter, or on YouTube. And you can subscribe at revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'm Ron Richards, this is App Judgment, and I've got a lot to do.